Hello, my name is Jurgen, and welcome back to Water Tank Center Stage. This time, we are seeing Funrail, and he is in his AT-15. Now, Funrail, of course, he's been on the channel before in his uh, favorite T-28. But today, we're taking a look at him in another Tier 8 tank destroyer, along with his two platoon mates, T-Flat and Kefrian. Kefrian, there it is. Um, now, I realized that the Soviet line in modern tanks is very popular and looking back at my recent modern tanks videos I realized a lot of the vehicles are just Soviet vehicles so I thought I'll take a look at some other tank lines in the game from now on I mean not to say that I won't feature Soviet vehicles ever again it's just a bit of a glut recently so anyway back to the AT-15 a tier 8 British tank destroyer with very thick frontal armor however it is quite fallible, predominantly in this cupola up here. However, compared to cupolas of lower tiers, it is much smaller. But then again, there are accurate guns in the game which can snipe you very easily. And considering this is at tier 8, you can get into tier 10 matches. However, from real T Flat and Carifian have not got themselves into that kind of matchup, and they are top tier, which is good. And that is a ridiculously accurate shot on the move. But then again, you're only going at 22 odd kilometers an hour downhill. <laughs> so, you may have noticed as well that Funreal has not uh, elected to use any premium ammunition. And therefore, he is stuck with 226 pen with the 20 pounder gun. From the looks of it, he at the time was playing with the Type A barrel, which uh, is only slightly slightly worse than that of the Type B barrel. The Type B barrel is slightly more accurate and has a better aim time, but they both have the same pen. Looking for the side of the weakly armoured T-28. From the front, of course, the T-28 is 203 millimeters of armor, but from the side it's 50. Now, there's a nice bounce. The main strengths of the AT-15 is the fact that it has such a good rate of fire. Relatively accurate gun. Not too bad aim time, however, this is compensated for by the fact that it is slow, its armor is fallible, and the side and rear can be penetrated quite easily from comparable tier and higher tier and lower tier as well. This bit back here for instance very easy to pen along with the engine bay. Anyhow you can see that t Flab and Funreal and Corinthian who's also in a AT-15A so at tier 7 are just using these tanks to break through the enemy lines. And if you don't aim for weak spots, it's going to be a little bit hard for you to penetrate. And unfortunately for that T-54 Mod 1, he's actually angling his plate wrong because he's backing up into the, the rocks, therefore mitigating the angling of his 120mm of frontal armour on the upper plate. Another weakness from the front often is straight at the gun. Behind that mantle, I think the armor is a lot weaker than people would presume, so sometimes you can get penetrated there by equal and lower tier, depending. Um, the AT-15 is kind of a mixed bag for me because of the slow speed. If you go off by yourself, which I try not to do, but if you do end up being alone, then it's pretty much GG. Uh, unless you can get yourself right back into a corner and cover your sides and rear. As a defensive tank, it's very good though, if you're just defending one forward area. And there's no chance of you being outflanked. I think the main reason, however, why people play the AT-15 and then the Tortoise and all of this line is to get to the 215B183, which is simply ludicrous. <laughs> With its 183 mil gun millimeter gun and I believe 230 pen with the hash rounds which can one shot kill any tier 9. 
uh, and severely damage most tier tens. I think the mouse can take two shots from that thing. Well, it can take a shot, and then the second shot would kill the mouse if both of them penetrated. And it also gets 311 millimeters penetration with the standard uh, armor piercing, but it only carries 12 rounds. So anyway, back to the AT-15. I do this. Uh, I do um, digress a lot, don't I? As you can see, the friendly base is under threat from these three heavy tanks. There's only four enemies left, however, so as soon as we deal with these guys, it's pretty much game secured. And this 226 pen, although seemingly low for its tier, is more than fine of dealing with the lower plate of an ice tree. Shooting at the upper front of the turret, however, is going to be a bit more problematic. But then, because you have such a good rate of fire, it doesn't matter. And 230 damage is, again, low, but coupled with the rate of fire again. It's very good at keeping enemies track safe. Thankfully, the Oni was shooting at the very thick front of the off on rails AT-15, and he was angled slightly as well. You can see how he's driving at an angle to keep the armor as thick as possible, but it doesn't matter in the end because he can just keep shooting before the Oni reloads. Oni. The OI reloads. Still have yet to play one of those things, but anyhow, the base is <laughs> under threat from one enemy. We know it's uh, the. Well, I think it's gonna be. Was it the IS 6? I can't tell. Regardless, it's only one enemy, so they can get there in time. You can't run, you can't hide. The giant pillboxes are quick for you. <laughs> In fact, it was the VK 3601H. The and there we go. 10 kills secured from the platoon. Very, very nice to see uh, you guys taking these tanks basically for a big loop around the map from the north through the B line into the riverbed and then back up again. But doing your job keeping the flank secured, pushing when you needed to push, and all that good stuff. So, we'll just take a look at the post-game stats. So, here we are with Funreal's post-game stats. Why even bother stopping? AT-15, platoon, very aggressive gameplay, ace tanker, blah 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 blah. <laughs> well, that's a good title. Um, well, as the title says, it was a mastery ace tanker badge. As you can see, this nice yellow strip. Uh, we also got a bruiser, a duelist, fighter, a fighter effect, shell proof, almost 40,000 credits, 1,342 experience, not a premium account, and not a times two first one of the day. We have a confederate, and we have high caliber. All of these enemy vehicles were damaged by Funreal, so he did a grand total of 4,494 damage and secured four of his own kills. T flat here, cleaning up a little bit there, but still managed to do 3,000 of his own damage. And Carithian, Carithian even managed to get 1,000 of his own damage as well in a tier 7, in a tier 8 match. The tier 7 AT15A, I think it's been buffed in a few patches previous to uh, when this replay took place, which was 9.12. But then again, it only has a 17 pounder with 171 pen, which is a bit mediocre against certain enemies from the front, especially a tier 8. But still, a thousand damage, great job there. So totaling up, that was 10 kills for the platoon, and a great amount of damage, good amount of carrying right there. This IS-6 did a decent amount of damage as well, so well played to you. And lastly, the detailed report, 31 shots fired, 28 hits and 23 penetrations, good accuracy, somewhat, yeah, decent penetrations as well uh, from the targets here. Only five failed to penetrate. The amount of damage blocked by armor was 1660, so the armor can block quite a substantial amount of damage, but don't count on it too much, especially when you get surrounded. Um, 11 enemy vehicles damaged, four of those were destroyed, and he managed to get 7,000 profit in a standard account, which is 
good to see. Anyhow, that was Funreal, Tifla and Kefloon in the AT-15 and AT-15A, showing you how to push a flank very aggressively. But then again, they were top tier, and that's what you should be doing in top tier matchups, if you have the armor, if you have the guns for it. So, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like down below, possibly share the video with your friends, and as always, I've been Jurgen, this has been Center Stage with Funreal, thank you for sending the replay in, and thank you for everyone sending their replays in, I do look at all of them, uh, just be patient, and you may well see your replay on the channel. But as always, I've been Jurgen, and I'll see you, chaps and chapettes, in the next one.